so where are right now? Uh, where are you in post production? Uh, post production, the cut is pretty much done. There's one scene that we need to still shoot. We had a horrible winter in Atlanta when we were shooting, and we didn't get a, a spring in time. Uh, and we needed greenery, and there was no greenery, and so we're going to go back, I think, sometime in late May and shoot one last scene. Um, but other than that, we're really working on visual effects and sound, and the music's being written, and it's exciting. Uh, what can you teach people about the soundtrack? Because that's something that people really love about the movies. Yeah, you know what? We're in such early days, there's absolutely nothing I can tease about the soundtrack yet. I, I wish there was. I put on Twitter I was going to be talking to you, and a lot of people asked me, have you shot the epilogue yet? So that's I'm assuming this is... That's the scene we haven't shot yet. We have not shot the epilogue yet. That's what we're going to shoot in uh, late May. Uh, is it like going to be a few minutes of the movie? Is it like a few short... minutes? A few minutes. It's just a scene. Uh, okay. So, yeah, there we go. I don't want to give anything away. Uh, how long was your first cut, and how long is it now? The first cut was about two hours and 50 minutes. Five 50? Zero, 50. Wow. Yeah, it was close to three hours, and it is now about two hours and seven minutes with no credits. Is it, I've asked you this question before on the other movies, is it a lot of deleted scenes, or is it, did you just sort of tighten it? This is, there's there's a few deleted scenes, but very, very few in this one. Uh, almost everything we shot made, made it in. It was just a lot of sort of tightening and streamlining and making the movie as efficient as possible. Often when you set out to make a movie, you think you're making something and it turns into something else. How how close is what the finished film, how, how close is the finished film to what you envisioned and how much changed based on, you know, what happened on set and people altering dialogue or, you know, figuring it out in the moment? Uh, well, I'd say on these movies, probably the biggest differences do happen on the day in rehearsal. So if we have something that's written in the script and we get there for a rehearsal and there might be some changes made, I might make something, the writer might make some changes, the actors might have suggestions. So very rarely does it entirely change the dynamic of a scene, but that's where the biggest changes will typically happen on these movies. Mostly because we're being very faithful to the books, and so we always have the books as the guide and the adaptations come, you know, from that, working with Suzanne. So by the time we're in post, you know, we don't do the thing on these movies where you test it and then decide, oh, well, our third act doesn't work. Throw it out and let's reshoot the whole third act. You know, it's not one of those where you can really kind of make it up like that and just change it all around. So we are, you know, sort of locked to the books in a, in a great way. When do you envision being done done with the movie? Uh, I think the movie will probably be done done in early September. Oh, wow. If everything stays on track and goes, goes as planned, we should be done in September. Uh, are you going to Comic-Con with the film? Uh, you should ask Lionsgate that, but I think we are. I, I think you are too, but I was curious if you are. I just don't know if I'm officially allowed to say it. It doesn't matter. No so one's watching I this. I think we are going. Uh, do you think the cast? or? I, you know what? I have not seen the list. I have not seen the list, but I think we are going. Uh, a lot of people ask me on Twitter, and I'm sure other people have asked you this already. Uh, when will people see the first footage from the movie? You know, that I, that I don't know. It's so funny because I get so much, um, so many tweets from people about, where's the trailer, where's the trailer, where's the trailer? And it's like, you know, the last movie just was just out in November and just left years in, what, March or April or something. I mean, it's crazy. It's, uh, you know, they'll, they'll get it. They need, they need to practice patience. Well, I'm patience. A, I'm and it's also nice to want. I'm a big fan of great teaser trailers that tease yes. the movie that do weird stuff like I think that there's not enough of that out there and sure. great like the Star Wars stuff recently has been great teasers yeah you know not full trailers are you thinking about doing anything like that yeah well Tim you know Tim Palin the marketing guy at Lionsgate's a genius with that kind of stuff and he has a lot of fun and you know I think because the popularity of these movies has actually allowed him a lot of freedom in the kinds of uh, you know advertising he can do and the marketing he can do and so he's really creative, comes up with great ideas, and there's some really cool stuff that he has planned that, you know, we'll start getting out there. People just need to be patient. They are doing a Hunger Games exhibition starting yes. in New York City. Yes. Are you or the cast planning on being there for, like, the grand opening? I am going. I don't know who else they've got planned going, but I will be there for the opening. Um, I've seen the plans. It looks really, really cool. 
uh, it's very exciting. Oh, without a, for fans of Hunger Games, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. I can only imagine. It's very cool. Um, are you at the point now where you're finally reading scripts for what you might do next, or yes. oh, you are? Yeah, no. When I, when I started coming up for air, when we sort of when the cut sort of settled into what felt like it was sort of in the zone, then I started looking at things and taking meetings and reading scripts and, and working on stuff. And one of the things I'm working on the Odyssey with uh, Lionsgate, which I'm really excited about. Do you? I would imagine that they are very happy having worked with you. With you know, uh, do you think you do you envision your next project being there? It really could be. Yeah, I mean that's the project I'm working on with them. Uh, we're in very early stages on it, uh, but we have I think a really great take, uh, and I think it'll be really really fun. What can you tease? Pe this is my last question, but what can you tease people about it? Nothing. Just that I'm excited about it. It's too early to tease anything. Yeah. I'll, I'll stop there and say thank you so much. Let me hit stop.